What's up guys? It's me, Tony G, coming to you, well, from the truck, but this vlog's gonna be from Horseshoe Casino, Baltimore. And uh, as you can tell, probably wasn't planning on vlogging today. This is actually a couple days before the live stream, but I'm actually gonna post this after the live stream. So anyway, this is uh, vlog 125, I believe, maybe 126, I can't keep track of it right now. Anyway, if you're new here, do me a favor, Hit that like and subscribe buttons. It helps me out and helps the channel out. You know the rules. And uh, if you're not new here, appreciate the support. Thanks for coming back, guys. And uh, yeah, got my new Felt Life merch here. Card protectors now in the store. Click the link down below. Get a Felt Life uh, card protector. And uh, yeah, appreciate the support. Let's get into the episode. Okay, like I said in the beginning, I really wasn't planning on filming today, just practicing for the live stream. And I know it's going to seem like I won all the hands. I didn't. The hands that I did lose were not significant enough to include it in this vlog. Let's go. Okay, I think I'm on the second hand here of the session. I have the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Hearts, and the Big Blind. It's a $7 raise to me, and I just min raised it up to 14 We had a couple older people at this table. It was an early day session, so I didn't want to scare too many people away. And three people total call, or well, two people total, including myself, three total. And we're going three ways to the flop, which is king, eight, five, two spades. It's a pretty safe flop for us. I'm first to act, and I down bet to $10. Believe it or not, everybody calls, so we're still three ways to the river. I'm sorry, three ways to the turn, which is the 10 of clubs. Again, it's a not-so-scary card. Uh, the back door straight draw gets there, but this time I decide to uh, size up a smidge from the 10 up to 15, and again, everybody is in this hand still. We're going three ways to the river, and the river is probably the safest card in the deck. It's the two of hearts. This time, uh, I, I put some thought into my, my betting, and Decide to throw out a bet of uh, 55 or $60. I can't exactly remember how much it was. I think it was 60 So I slide out 60 and the under the gun plus one goes all in for 72 Obviously, I call, and uh, he flips over and shows queen of spades, ten of spades. So he hit the ten on the turn, and we got him with aces. And, uh, yeah, we'll take down a decent pot. Literally the next hand, I have aces again in a small blind. It gets to me and I make it 20. We go heads up to the flop, which is king, queen, seven, rainbow. I decide to just throw out a bet of $10. And the middle position cuts out some chips. It looks like he's going to raise. He indeed does. He raises it up to 25. I decide to just go ahead and flat call the 25 and not re-raise. And we are heads up to the turn still, obviously. The turn is the seven of diamonds. Just pairs the board, give me two pair now. I check, and the gentleman across from me there cuts out some chips and says raise. I'm sorry, bet $50. And I go ahead and call the $50 and see how the river works out. The river is pretty innocent. It's the four of hearts. This time, I throw out a bet of $100, just a stack of chips, and he basically immediately folds, and we take down a decent-sized pot. Show him the aces again. Okay, about two orbits later, I have ace of clubs queen of clubs in a small blind gets i raise it up to 15 and we actually go three ways to the flop which is seven eight ten with two clubs so we got a flush draw going and i decided to throw out a bet of ten dollars and everybody calls couldn't believe it again everybody's calling apparently they just want to burn money anyway three ways to the turn still turn is the queen of hearts there's a you know, backdoor straight possibility. Uh, obviously, we still got the flush draw going. 
I threw out a bet of $25. The under the gun plus one folds, and the dude across from me can't get enough. He just calls. We're heads up to the river, which is the six of spades. Do not get there on the flush, but I feel pretty good with my pair of queens now. I throw out a bet of $55, and he doesn't think for too, too long, looks at his cards, and decides to, you know, hem and haul, and then just folds them, and we'll take down this pot. Okay, I have the King of Spades, Queen of Diamonds, in the small blind. It gets to me. I make it $10 to go. And the middle position and the cutoff calls, and we're going three ways to the flop. The flop is 10-6 King with two diamonds. Look at my cards. Yep, I got a King. I throw out a bet of $15. And everybody, like usual, which is good, a lot of action, everybody calls. So we're still three ways to the turn. The turn is the four clubs. Doesn't change anything for me. I still have top pair. I decide to check it to see where I'm at. And one of the guys throws out a bet of $25. I think it was the middle position. And the cutoff folds. So we're just heads up now to the river. And the guy wasn't paying attention. So he had to muck his cards. Anyway, so we're heads up to the river, and the river is the Eight of Hearts. This time, I throw out a bet of $55, and the middle position decides to look at his cards, says, I can't call that bet, it's too much, and he folds, and we'll take down another pot. Okay, in this hand, we have the ladies in the small blind. I make it $10, and we go four ways to the flop. And the flop is decent. It's three, king, seven with two diamonds. Not too worried about the king right now. I threw out a bet of $15, and there are a couple folds, and the middle position calls, and then it gets back around to the button. He looks like he's cutting out a lot more chips than $15. He says, raise 45 And I think about it for a minute, but I'm not going anywhere with pocket queens. So I throw in the uh, $45, and we're now heads up to the turn, which is the six of clubs. I decide to check, because maybe he's got a king now. He checks, and the river is the two of hearts. Again, I check. And he checks and shows me 6-4. Not sure what he was doing, but that's okay. We'll take the spot. Okay, I got ace, king, in middle position. It gets to me, and I make it $20 to go. Only the under the gun plus one calls, and we are heads up to the flop. The flop is queen, eight, king, with two spades. He checks it to me, and I throw out a bet of $20. And after uh, he looks at his cards, the under the gun plus one does call. So, obviously, we're still heads up, and the turn is the five of clubs, and again, he checks it over to me. This time, I decide just to go ahead and check. It checks all the way around. The river is the ace of hearts, giving me top two pair. He checks it again to me, and I throw out a bet of $30, and he thinks about it, 
looks at his cards again, decides whether he wants to call. But ultimately, he does just muck his cards. And uh, we'll go ahead and take down this uh, smaller pot of the day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel out. And uh, let me know what you guys liked and what you did like uh, down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.